In this video, I walk you step by step through the process to build your own Explorer style 3D printed guitar kit. You simply 3D print the body and the kit includes everything else you need to build a fully functional electric guitar. This includes the neck, neck plate, electronics panel, bridge and neck pickups with quick connectors, all associated hardware and strings. It also includes dowels and super glue for assembling the body. So if you're looking for a project to combine your hobby of music and 3D printing, then this is the kit for you. Check out the link in the description below for more information on this kit, as well as my other 3D printed guitar kits. Or if you're just looking for files, there are also many STL only options available. So without further ado, let's get started. The kit includes a download of all the files you need to print the body of the guitar in both STL format as well as 3MF format, which has the print settings automatically preloaded, so you can simply load the file into your slicer and hit print. Although the kit is a single coil pickup design, I also offer a humbucker STL option as well that I'll link to in the description below. The guitar body is split into a center core and five outer parts that get assembled together using dowel pins and superglue. Please note that the recommended print bed size is 256 by 256 millimeters or greater. It's recommended to print the center core of the guitar in a high infill percentage to ensure that it won't flex due to the tension of the guitar strings. At a minimum, I recommend using at least 60% infill and six wall perimeters. Since the outer pieces don't see any significant load, they're printed with less infill and less perimeters. For this guitar, I decided to print in multicolor, but you can also simply print in a single solid color. All components can be printed in PLA, but you can also use ABS or other stronger materials if you're looking for even more rigidity. Depending on the design and settings you choose, you can expect to use somewhere between one and a half and two rolls of filament and have a total print time between 35 and 40 hours. The guitar body is designed to go together using wooden dowel pins to align the parts during assembly and super glue to bond the plastic. After pressing the dowels into the holes, apply some super glue to the mating surfaces and press the parts together. Please note that prior to gluing outer three to the core, you need to insert a square nut for the strap post in the slot shown. As you'll see later on, I forgot to do this step, but was able to come up with a workaround. To allow the adhesive to fully set, I recommend using wood clamps to tightly squeeze the sections together for 24 hours. This particular design does not use epoxy, but note that many of my other design options include a recess to pour an optional resin top. I'll provide a link in the description to some of my other videos for examples that include resin. Next, it's time to assemble the rest of the non 3D printed components. I've found that sourcing high quality guitar components can be challenging, especially an affordable neck that's straight and well built. Luckily, you won't need to worry about individually sourcing quality parts, as this kit includes all genuine Fender Squire components. For assembly, you will only need a screwdriver. First, route the output jack through the body as shown. Then route the black ground wire coming off the electronics panel and tape it to the bridge cavity as shown. This will ground the bridge when it's installed. Now you can mount the output jack cover to the jack and then mount the assembly to the body using four screws. Now we are ready to attach the neck pickup to the neck cover plate, getting ready to route the wires as shown and making the connection to the electronics panel by matching the color coded wire connectors. Then it can be mounted to the body with four screws followed by the bridge, which gets mounted to the body using five screws. And lastly, the electronics panel is fixed to the body with two screws. Flipping the guitar body over, we can install the strap post. They get mounted to the body by inserting a square nut into the slot and then fastening the posts in place. As previously mentioned, I had forgotten to add the square nut for the other strap post in an earlier step, 
so I just ended up screwing a long self-tapping screw directly into the plastic. We are now ready to mount the neck to the body using the neck plate and the four long fasteners that screw directly into the neck. You have the option to replace the three-way switch knob with the 3D printed part or leave the existing knob. And now there's nothing left to do but string up the guitar using the included Ernie ball strings and then tune it up. And just like that, your 3D printed guitar is officially complete and ready to be played. Overall, I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. For those of you wondering, the final weight of the guitar is just around 7 pounds, which is pretty similar to most of my other design options as well. To me, the guitar weight is well distributed and feels well balanced in my hands. Now it's time to finally plug this thing in and see how it plays. I'm certainly not the best person to demonstrate the guitar's sound quality, but here's a quick demo anyways. As always, if you enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing to support the channel. And if you have any other questions or comments, please make sure to leave those in the comment section below. This guitar kit, as well as all of my other designs, are available on my website, the3dprintzone.com. I would encourage anyone who's looking for a fun project to consider building one yourself and adding your own flair to it. I'm already working on several other 3D printed guitars, so stay tuned for more videos and upcoming designs. Also, leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for future designs. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.